Welcome to the zoological world today we will discuss about bowfin. Incredible bowfin facts. Like many ancient fish, the bowfin is an air-breathing species that must return to the surface periodically to take in oxygen. The large swimming bladder, which doubles as a lung, runs the entire length of the body. The gills are also heavily modified so that they do not collapse upon exposure to air. This is a good adaptation for oxygen-poor water. It is believed that the bowfin fish relies as much on its scent as its sight. Bowfin fish spend the majority of the day simply searching for food, but they can go a long time without eating. The bowfin goes by a variety of different regional names. Mudfish, mud pike, and grindle or grinnellfish are common names in the southern United States. What is a bowfin fish? The bowfin is a type of freshwater ray finned fish with sharp teeth and a long body. The ancient lineage, which dates back nearly 200 million years, can be seen in several ancient features, including the skull. Amazingly, the bowfin is the only living member of its order, so there is nothing else quite like it on the planet. Alternative names for this species include the mudfish, mudpike, or grinnellfish. What does bowfin eat? Bowfins eat frogs, sunfish, crayfish, bass, and even other bowfins. Basically, they will consume almost any source of meat they can. Do bowfin fish have teeth? Bowfins have sharp cone-like teeth that allow them to consume large aquatic animals. Are bowfin good to eat? A lot of people complain that the bowfin meat is bland and unappetizing, but it can be fried, smoked, or stewed to enhance the taste. How big does a bowfin get? Bowfins can reach up to 43 inches and about 21 pounds but the typical size of the bowfin is probably less than half that. What kingdom do bowfins belong to? Bowfins belong to the kingdom Animalia. Bowfin reproduction and lifespan bowfins are solitary species at every time of the year except for the spawning season. At some point between late April and early June, depending on location, the male travels to shallow water and creates a nest by clearing away the vegetation to attract an appropriate female. Once she's found her mate, the female then deposits her eggs in the small depression of mud in the nest, and the male releases his sperm to fertilize them. A single nest can contain eggs from multiple females, many of them at different stages of development. The bowfin's reproductive behavior differs in many respects from most other fish species. First, it actually invests some time into caring for the young. Second, it's the male rather than the female who's responsible for the bulk of the parenting duties. Their duties usually consist of nothing more than watching over the newly hatched young, which make a tempting meal for other bowfins. Also, because the sex ratio is heavily tilted toward males, there are some three males for every female, they can be quite aggressive toward each other in the competition for mates. A reproductively successful male needs to be very aggressive about guarding the nest. The bowfin eggs have a short hatching time of only 8 to 10 days after fertilization. The young tadpole-like larvae have an adhesive organ on the snout that attaches to the nest. After about 7 to 10 days, the young will finish absorbing the entire yolk into their bodies and then leave the nest for good. Once independent, they will then graduate to eating small insects such as water fleas. At around 4 inches of length, the bulk of their diet consists largely of other fish. 